Hello again, another tutorial, another um, dark and wet morning here in London. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about combining the result sets of two separate graph patterns or two separate conditions, sort of, in our select statement. Uh, what do we mean by combining the result of two sets? Well, uh, let's take an example and explain that. We had this data set before where we have a list of people all in triples of course courses and who is taking which courses remember these are comments comments here uh, start with uh, with the hash symbol now what we want to do for example if we want to try and list all individuals and you know course names if, if, if they are doing any course then give us the course names we have the query here ready for us select first name last name for, you know first last and course name where uh, we're using a temporary variable here s you know has property first name place it in first and you know has a last name place it in last taken course property taken course place it in course and then for course give us the course title and place it in course name and then display first name last name and course name I believe in the original example in the book you know this book of course I'm sorry this book here I'm sorry you still remember it uh, again this book here yeah I think the example says last name last you know comes first. I've just you know swapped it around so it makes more sense. So it suits the way we do it. First name always comes before last name. Anyway, um, now if we just if we run this query now, what happens is we get a list of. I'm sorry. Let me just modify this. We get a list of all individuals, their first name, last names, and which course they are doing. Now, if we want to say, for example, give me a list of all people who are doing this course and a list of all people who are doing this course and then combine the results together yeah I mean we can have a list of for example all people on, on their own and then all courses on their own and join the results just to show you how to do that but what makes more sense is to find overlap between uh, uh, in our in our result sets and the keyword in sparkle that we can use to combine result sets of separate uh, um, graph patterns or separate conditions is the word union. Uh, the keyword union here. Union. Yes, is the keyword union. So let's have an example. Look at an example and take it from there. We listed all the people here and first names, last name, and course names. In this query here, what we have is we have a, a query to uh, get a list of first names and last names of everyone, and then get a list of course name so say select start means select everything where uh, we have this condition here to display first name last names and this condition here to, to display course names notice now the use of the keyword union to combine or to join or to merge the results of these two separate conditions or separate graph patterns notice that each graph pattern now is in its own curly brackets so we have this one here inside its own curly brackets union and then the second one inside the circle brackets enough talking let's execute this example 098 and see what happens so if we choose 098 run it as you can see what happens is we get a list of uh, pe people individuals you know indi I'm sorry individuals with their IDs because we said select star now that's why that's why it's bringing back everything so the personal ID first name la first last and then the course course ID and then the course name course name so these are two separate queries this is the first one and this is the second one and some columns are empty because as we said before there's no overlap between them but um, I hope you see you can see the the benefit of union now is actually combining the results of two queries this one and this one using union and we can actually make more sense out of it so for example as we said before if we want to get a list of people doing a certain course and then another list of other people doing another course then the results should be the same they should be of some overlap and then we can combine them and it, it will make more sense and you know I'm going to, to modify this so I can for example uh, get a list of people as we said before maybe doing this course updating data with sparkle and people doing modeling data with owl and I have it here ready and let me just copy it and paste it and we can actually explain it in a second let me I'm sorry what am I doing maybe paste it here and here I'm not going to display course names I just want to first display first name and last name as we said 
uh, it's very similar to the previous one example 70 if, if you if you if you remember it but what I'm doing here I'm actually giving it the course name so give me a list of people you know their first names and last names people who are doing this course modeling with owl and then give me another list of people their first names and last names people who are doing this course using sparkle with non RDF data if you go back to the list these courses here this and this modeling with data with our news sparkle with RTF data yes this and this yes so and then join the results so if I save this and run it again it's number 70 now then we get a list of all people doing those two courses and notice you can notice that Cindy here is repeated because Cindy is actually doing the two courses so Cindy is doing this course number 34 34 and Cindy is 9771 as you can see here and she's doing also uh, 59 she's not uh, Cindy's 9771 and she's doing actually course number 59 I hope that makes sense I mean if you if you actually if we remove this let's have a look whether it actually works with even with the you know next to the brackets if we remove that and display the results and then we get the C Cindy doing this course yes now if we remove the first one and run it again then we get people doing the other course and then again to display the results with the two queries then we get a combined list or s combined result set using the union keyword I hope that makes sense the book has another nice example of people uh, playing musical instruments you can have a look at it that's the data set that the, the book is using and then uh, this is the uh, query that they're using that give me a list of you know first name last name and in which is instrument that uh, that individuals playing and what, what it says is give me an I give me the list of people playing trumpet and any other instrument with it and here any people playing sax and any other instrument and then join the results if we run that quickly so the, the example is 100 I'm sorry ex100 and the query is 101 we just can run that quickly I'm not going to go through, through the explanation you can have a look at the book but uh, I hope my explanation of the other one is enough just to demonstrate the use of the word of the union keyword and this is what we get that Craig is playing trumpet uh, he's not playing anything else with it but Richard is playing sax and he's playing also uh, clarinet or something I don't know how to pronounce that yes hope that makes sense thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.